Barry Wassletter, I'm a resident of Ward 11, University of Rosedale, and I'm speaking on behalf of the Toronto Venezuela Solidarity Coalition, which encompasses several grassroots organizations, a number of members of which are uh, seated behind me. For a number of months, I have sought to address this committee on the subject of Toronto's housing crisis and what we think this city, this province, and this country can learn from a highly successful social housing program underway in the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela. I endorse all efforts to expand Toronto's housing allowance program, including the creation of a new upper tier of the municipal land transfer tax. The Ontario Priorities Housing Initiative should address priorities in the areas of housing supply and affordability. And frankly, as the discussion recently, uh, just moments ago, reflected, we need a crash program of land assembly and social and cooperative housing construction to house the homeless and to take pressure off rents. And that is where Venezuela enters the picture. Its achievement over the past eight years is nothing less than spectacular. I call it a social wonder of the modern world. And I propose that this committee and council as a whole take some positive action. I suggest that you invite experts from Venezuela to come to Toronto to share their knowledge of the Gran Mission de Dienda, the great housing project, and send some city councillors and or social housing officials to Venezuela to witness and learn about housing achievements in that South American country. This can be done at no expense to city council. Here are some facts. One, the United Nations has recognized Venezuela as one of the one of the top countries for guaranteeing people's right to housing at the first United Nations Habitat Assembly, which took place in Nairobi, Kenya, May 27 to 31 this year, with 193 countries in, uh, represented there. The UN Habitat is the UN's highest decision-making body on the subject of sustainable urban development and housing. Venezuela's Minister for Habitat, Ildemaro Vila Ruel, told the Assembly, quote, the Grand Mission Vivienda continues to be an example to the world that housing in Venezuela is a social right rather than a commodity, close quote. The Grand Mission has been operative for eight years. Its aim is to counter social exclusion and injustice due to the historic housing deficit in Venezuela. It has housed 2,621,703 Venezuelan families throughout the country. It was created by President Hugo Chavez, inspired when in 2011 a powerful freak storm left 100,000 families homeless. It has been carried forward by President Nicolas Maduro, even in these days of economic warfare waged against the country. Illegal sanctions by the USA, Canada, and the EU have robbed Venezuela of its foreign accounts, its gold deposits, and have disrupted oil exports, blocked international commerce, causing a shortage of food and medicines. This has caused the deaths of 40,000 Venezuelans, especially those in a precarious state of health. In November 2018, the keys to home number 2,400,000 were given to a family in Maturin, in the state of Monagas. Currently, 130,000 units are being built of the 500,000 that are scheduled to be finished this year. A total of 3 million housing units are to be reached this December, and 5 million more are scheduled for completion by 2025. The program consists of housing that is sometimes fully constructed by professionals and others constructed by the communities themselves with professional supervision. It is not simply a program of building houses on an empty lot. It is an endeavor of building communities with work programs, schools, daycare, government service offices, markets. It does not build isolated low-income ghettos where the poor are kept at bay. The units are integrated throughout the cities and towns as an organic part of city and rural life. The program develops agreeable and integrated housing zones that make available a full range of social services from education to health care, which likens its vision to that of the new urbanism model. There are three categories in this project, personal, familial, and community. Well, um, I'll have to come back five months.
months from now to finish this proposal, but I'll just conclude by saying that people can access a credit for the program called Credit Habitat, which President Maduro has just increased to U.S. $40 million and allows individuals to Thank you. engage in this thing. Last sentence. Thank you. Last sentence. I, I conclude well, by urging you to undertake an exchange on the subject of housing provision, Toronto, Venezuela, or Toronto, Caracas, if you will. Thank you. Such an endeavor will also Any questions foster the speaker? peace and respect for national Sir? sovereignty in Sir? this hemisphere. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions of the speaker? Seeing none, thank you for joining us here today. Pablo Escobar. Pablo? I don't think Pablo is here. Uh, Kira Henning? Kira?